All right, so we, we have this uh, so we have this less cluttered display, I, I think, and that's that's my opinion. Once again, um, I I do want to tell you though. I want to tell you about my opinions. Uh, they're just not going to count towards the the deciding factors uh, as to whether or not one board is is better than the other. Um, <clears throat> because I'll, I'll wholeheartedly admit this. This guy is more powerful and more versatile, um, straight up. Not not going to deny that. Um, but is it uh, is it better electrically? Well, we're going to find out. So, okay, uh, we talked about we talked about the things that that I was uh, going the different things I was going to test on here. Um, oh, that's another thing. So the Going from temperature mode to watt mode. Now, on the uh, on the DNA forty, there you you do have the option of turning um, temperature mode off. And by the way, this thing this is one of the uh, boards, and you're you're going to see it. It's one of the boards that has uh, screen artifacts, the screen issue, um, and that's uh, that's something I'm going to have to. I'm going to get this one sent back to Evolve once I'm done with this testing, um, or however they, they choose to, to handle the situation. Um, but, you know, I got this one donated, and uh, I'm not going to bitch about it. It works just fine other than that, so uh, so we'll continue. So to change the temperature setting, you have to lock it. It's in, it's in locked mode, five-click locked. Hold to change temp. You hold down up and down. Okay, and now we can change the temperature by, by tens. If we go up all the way, we can go to off. And it will be in uh, explicitly in uh, in watt mode, um, and it'll just send watts. Um, but you never have to do that. I'm showing you you can do it, but you never ever ever have to. Uh, why, Mike? Why do you never have to? Well, so this thing um, this thing picks up that there is a. Uh, that there's uh, a temperature control uh, coil on here. And, and it does that by being able to detect that temperature change. Um, so if I pull it off, I said temperature change, didn't I? Resistance change. Um, it detects a resistance change in the coil, um, which, which obviously relates to a temperature change. Uh, no, I didn't go over how temperature control works, and um, and I probably won't because uh, you guys can look it up. If you don't know how temperature control works, you're not ready for this video. So um, I guess what I'm saying is suck it. Uh, suck it hard. So anyway, um, so we take a, uh, let me get a Canthal build here. Uh, we take a Canthal build and, uh, and put it on this, this 510. And we start firing it, and it uh, pretty quickly realizes, like it tries for a second, and then it realizes, nope, um, I'm not a, uh, I'm definitely not on a fucking, uh, not on a fucking temperature control build. So it just goes to 40 watts and calls it a day. To me, that's awesome. That's intuitive. Um, so. Let's let's hang on to that. Evolve. I hope the DNA 200 is the same way. Uh, I had the motherfucker for like weeks now and haven't played with it. So anyway, um, she so go back and forth. So the upshot of that, you go back and forth between Canthal and uh, nickel builds uh, or temperature controlled and non-temperature controlled builds. If you guys use titanium or fuck knows what else you guys are using now for temperature builds, um, you go right back to it, picks it up, back in action back in the fucking game. Um, on the other side, the SX, uh, if you if you do that, first off, um, You have to you have to pair this thing. Uh, there's no 
no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Whatever the the last uh, whatever the last reading it had on there, that's what it's sticking with. So it thinks this is a 1.3 ohm coil, and it isn't. Uh, whereas the DNA40 will dynamically change that on its own. Um, so or change it on its own. So we have to hold down both. Uh, that's not going to be right because the coil's warm. Uh, if you understand temperature control, then that's you'll understand that. If you don't, then fucking learn. Um, so, really, there you go. So, so the temperature control is going to be wrong, but 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 it works. So it, it's it's functioning, and it's you can actually see the coil getting fucking hot because the temperature control isn't isn't functioning properly. So, uh, and I, and that's one of the things is you you have to put you have to put a room temperature, uh, aka cold fucking coil on there to start out to pair it up, or it's uh, or it's not going to work. Now, so that being said, uh, we put this guy on here. Once again, uh, we haven't paired it, so it still thinks it's a 0.29. Uh, and it says dry coil, no liquid. And it, uh, and it says it's like at 900 and something degrees Fahrenheit, so it's like, uh, it's not firing. You can tell. It's not fucking sizzling. Um, it's not going to happen. So, you you have to go into uh, you have to go in back into uh, power mode. And then we get this uh, this nice little um, my battery's too low uh, display, which I think which I think is hilarious. Um, to go uh, parallel, Sammy's on. Uh, about halfway uh, discharged to um, to saying that they're uh, dangerously low, which I will uh, which I'll rectify here shortly. I'll take the leads off of this little mess that I'm playing with on the side and uh, and get this bitch uh, charging. So anyway. Uh, that okay. That's one of the pitfalls of of this setup. That's just that's just it. Um, no two ways about it. Is the SX three fifty simply cannot uh, detect that difference without changing modes. So it's less intuitive. Um, for the user. Now, the only drawback on the S on the uh, DNA side is you cannot uh, tell it. You cannot force it to change. It will it will decide when it has a new coil on there. And there you go. Uh, I've I've changed the resistance enough to where it's asked me new coil up, same coil down, it's the same coil. I hit down, and we keep going. Um, but it makes that decision. Uh, so it there is. There is the potential for for you to actually have a situation where the uh, it's a different coil, but it's close enough to where it doesn't ask you, and your your temperature readings uh, could actually be off by a little bit. Um, so maybe have the option uh, to maybe that would be good to have the option to to force it to. Uh, to detect a new coil. Okay. Anyway, um, so that's kind of that's kind of the the bulk of my opinions. I'm sure I'll, I'll find some more to talk about as we go through the the testing procedures. I'm going to talk about the testing procedures, and I'm going to talk about the results of those testing procedures, so that we can get. Uh, we can get a good idea for, for how everything works.